Ferrari Black versus Boss Bottled, AKA Boss Number Six. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I just wanna do a little review slash comparison today on Ferrari Black and Boss Number Six, AKA Boss Bottled. I don't know if you guys heard my story of Pure Havan and Ferrari Black. It was a couple videos ago. I ordered Pure Havan, enclosed in a Pure Havan box, wrapped and sealed was this Ferrari Black. Somehow, Ferrari Black got into my sealed case. The seller ended up working with me and he actually sending me Terry Mugler's Pure Wood in place of Pure Havan, along with a 50% refund. So that sounds pretty good to me because I'm getting Pure Wood for 25 and I can begin to repurchase Pure Havan. However, today we're talking about Ferrari Black versus Boss number six, AKA Boss Bottle. Like I had been wanting to smell this one for a while. No one really hyped it, but it was kind of interesting. And um, some of the car company ones have been hyped. Some, something like Bentley Intense. I really like, kind of like the bottle. It's sleek. Um, it's just a little bit different than everything else. So for being a cheapie, for having the name Ferrari on it, for having a sleek look, I do like that. The sprayer also works very well on this one. I'd actually say the sprayer is better than uh, Boss Bottle. Immediately after I sprayed this one, I was instantly reminded of a certain scent and that scent was Boss Bottle after I thought about it for a little while. When I look up the notes, like supposed to be some red apple, vanilla and cinnamon are the top notes. Uh, I do kind of get all those notes, but there is like a plum note, I think that's listed as the fourth most prominent note. That's kind of why I don't really like it too much. When I compared it to Boss Bottle, I liked Boss Bottle definitely a lot more. And for me personally, Boss Bottle isn't anything extremely super special. I would say the scent's probably between like a 7.5 to 8 for Boss Bottle. This one is definitely a little bit worse. I'd probably give, you know, on the first impressions, this one probably about like a 6.5 or a 7. Maybe I'd put this on my cheap list. I don't really know. I Probably not because uh, I have a really, really strong cheap list. But it actually might make it. If I owned this one, I'm going to be sending it back. That's part of the deal to get the pure wood. So that sounds good to me because I and want this one in the first place. <laughs> Boss Bottle definitely takes the cake and I actually want to look into Boss Bottled Intense and Boss Bottled Intense Eau de Parfum, which is supposed to be the strongest one and people are saying that the EDP version is the best version. So I'm gonna have to check into it because I really like the style of this fragrance but they don't capitalize on it in my opinion. If it had a more thickness, less of this synthetic vibe and more length and projection, I definitely would like it. A Ferrari Black gets a lot less projection than Boss Bottled. Ferrari Black lasts three or four hours or so. Initially it has its own smell, this kind of plumness to it or this kind of like almost like a sour candy smell with the mixed in with a similar Boss, Boss Bottled vibe about an hour, hour and a half into it. They smell very similar, although Boss Bottle is louder at this point. Boss Bottle smells better at this point. And then this one ends up fading out around the three to four hour mark. I mean, Boss Bottle is definitely probably gone by the sixth hour. I wore Boss Bottle a few times to work. Over the course of two days, like I drenched myself probably about 20 to 30 times with this Boss Bottle. Uh, it wasn't really lingering on the shirt that I was wearing and it didn't last very long. I would say maybe, like I said, like six hours tops on this one. So they both don't have good length and projection, although Boss Bottled is better in that category. So the winner is Boss Bottled. Ferrari Black is whatever. To me, it's nothing super, super special, but it's not the worst in the world. And I really like the design and everything, but it's all about the juice and that's all that matters. Boss Bottled is taking the cake on this one, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. What's your favorite uh, boss scent? What's your favorite car themed fragrance? I'll be interested to see down below. Just throwing this quick little video out there right now. Let me know what you guys think of this fragrance, this review. I'll be interested to see. See you all in my next video. Hope you're having a great day because I'm having a great day. Bye. This is that new one that embarked. Ever call the embark. Actually, it doesn't smell bad. I, I thought I hated it. It's not bad. What do you think? Trying to find the one that I want. But it, I'm telling you, the one that you liked was the one that I gave you, and they don't have it here. It's called Revival. Summer. Abercrombie and Fitch Woods Cologne.